It's been a couple days since the last part. I've got partial sun here. My umbrella stand's blocking it there. Um, yeah, so this is how that last flake looked. How it came off. Did a nice job taking off that cortex there. So, yeah. Today I think I'm going to set up platforms with this hammer stone and keep doing the antler direct percussion with my small antler here. At this stage, the, I think the stone just preserves a little bit more of the, the edge. I can be a bit more efficient with that. You know, the antler is prone to lipping out takes off more of the edge than you want sometimes. Trying to decide what the best, the best strategy is here. I should take a flake from over here to try and come in that way and then I can take one here to smooth it out. There's already a little little step fracture here. I don't want to go right into that. That's the step fracture. If I took the flake off now it would probably just make that worse so take one off here first hopefully a big one. Spend a lot more time setting up, preparing my platforms at this stage. A little, uh, a little less room for error. I'll take this wake off first before I work on this face. better. I missed on the first one, came off there. That one worked out a lot better.
Well, it's kind of messy, but I can clean it up from the other side. Of a weird little spot there. I just want that gone. Anyways, uh, <clears throat> take some flakes off from here first and then work my way towards there, I guess. Little more than I was expecting there, but cool. Didn't bite in too, too deeply.
was a good one. come from the other edge and try and get rid of the rest of it the cortex and after that I can move down to the indirect stage and really straighten things out
Oops. Not enough there. Almost all the way across, it was a pretty good overface flake. It came and terminated right about there. Cool. Flattens up that face a little better. I did that, you know, before we're finishing up over here because I had the the angles, the platforms, and I needed to take advantage of them before turning them so that I could finish thinning that this part down. Oops, should have used hammer stone there. I was thinking about it. I could continue this way, but I think I think this piece would be best served 
with some pressure flaking and rather pressure flaking to set up platforms and my antler indirect percussion to take flakes off. I'll just try and get one more decent one here. Horn was a little distracting, but managed to get that flake off. Maybe I can try for one more. I messed up that puck one a little there. That's a hammerstone flake. I don't need to clean everything up any more than that. That's that's fine the way it is. Ready for the next next stage of work. Let me get the shadows off of this. Is that better? Yeah. Okay. Made pretty good progress in this one. Just got a little bit of that cortex left to take off. A couple little step terminations get out of there clean off or clean up but yeah time to start taking flakes off this way flattening that out that face yeah to move down to indirect percussion with the next stage where I'll use this antler punch put it on the edge like that and then use this one to hit it like that. I'm sure most of you watching have, you know, are regulars here, and you know my, my the techniques that I use, my style. Yeah. Okay. Very happy with how this is looking. I still have a decent amount of width, and it's getting nice and thin, thin-ish. I just gotta even things out, keep thinning, and you know, if I can keep like this much of the width, all the length, I really should decide what I'm gonna make out of this. Something local to where this stone comes from, so I'll spend a bit of time online looking it up, looking up root beer chert and all the point types that were made out of it in the prehistoric times of, I think, Texas where this comes from yeah okay that's it for this one as always thanks for watching catch you next time cheers